This is a quick video demo on how to most optimally set up the Axis Q3708. So the first thing you want to do is you want to log into the camera. You want to set up the username and password. So we're just going to use the standard password, which is root and pass. The next step it's going to ask you is to select the capture mode. So here's where you can select for each lens to be in 4 megapixel resolution or 5 megapixel resolution. The 4 megapixel um, is good for some use cases, but I always set it to 5 megapixel because we're trying to capture as much information as possible here. So this is going to give you a taller field of view. So I'm going to select the 5 megapixel resolution. Click OK. The next step, it's going to ask you to select what hertz. Because we're in the United States, we're going to select 60 hertz. Click OK. And now we are in the live feed of the Q3708. So the first thing you want to do is adjust the lenses and the height of the camera. I recommend to mount this camera between 15 and 20 feet, but you can mount it accordingly to the job that you're on. So when you tilt the lenses, they all are going to tilt together. So you'll see that right here. You can see the lenses move, but once you adjust the lenses to the field of view that you want, the next step is to go under setup, you're going to go into video, you're going to go into caperture alignment, and then you're going to fine tune adjust the sensors so everything lines up seamlessly. So if we go over to the right sensor, you can see it's a little off right here. So if a car was to drive through, there may be a little ghosting because it's going to be in two image sensors. So if we use these arrows to do capture alignment, we can start to fine tune this image here. So that looks a lot better. Then if we go over to this one, you can see it's out of alignment here. I'm going to bring this over. Now that's an alignment. Depending on how you set this up, you may have to do some more tweaking. I recommend having somebody walk through each scene uh, or putting something, uh, an object that you recognize, right in between the lenses right here. So I'm actually going to do that right now. So you can see I've now put my golf bag right in between the frames here. So if this needs to be adjusted more, I can move it in and out. But you can see how you can more properly align the camera lens to capture more of the scene more accurately. So now that looks really good again. So then you go zoom out. And that'll be fine there. Then you go into camera settings. And this is where you can adjust the color, the brightness, the sharpness, the contrast. But I always recommend to keep WDR on. Uh, if you turn it off, just see how the scene looks. Uh, but this is going to be another setting that you're going to want to play with. Some interior applications, WDR may not even be helping you. Um, so you can shut that off. Other than that, feel free to adjust any other settings. But those are some of the major ones right there. So you go under basic setup, go into video stream. I highly recommend turning zip stream on. So with the Q3708, you have the ability to have zip stream on low, medium, or high. I recommend at least putting it on medium. Now, if you remember my previous zip stream video, low, medium, and high settings, it is VMS agnostic, it doesn't matter. But if you're using one of the more standard VMSs, such as Milestone, Genetech, Exact, uh, or some of the other ones, they do support our advanced Zipstream functionality. So you can turn that on as well to really save on the amount of bandwidth this camera is going to send to the actual network video recorder. If you want to learn more about Zipstream, just see my other video. So you can click Save. Then you go back into the Live View. So now we're in the Live View. So if we go to H.264. We'll select the panorama. Here's what the image would look like. But now let's bring it into a video management software. 
So we're going to bring it to Access Camera Station. So the first thing you want to do is start your Access Camera Station client. Then you're going to want to go to Add Edit Cameras, Add. You're going to find the three sensors. They all have the same IP address because it's going to be one IP address for this camera. Select the three sensors, click Next. For recording method, you can have a recording on motion, continuously, no recording. Uh, set it up however you want. So we're just going to have it on motion recording right now, but we can click Install. All right, now close out of this. We're going to go back to the live view, and you can see the Axis Q3708 has been brought in to the live stream. So what we're going to do here is we're going to adjust this view. So if you right click and hit edit, you can change the layout of this view. So I usually select the corridor view, the three corridor views here. So you have camera one, two, and three. And click OK. So now that our camera has been brought into Axis Camera Station, and we've created the corridor view to view all cameras right next to each other, I can click on show in full screen and I can have a nice 180 view of my scene. But if we go back and collapse this, what I want to do is just show you how you can adjust the video and audio settings. So if I go into video and audio setup, I can edit the live view. Because right now in the live view, I'm only streaming the low quality stream. And it's not until I click on the individual stream that it'll bring up the high quality view. So this really helps manage the bandwidth within your uh, system. So you don't necessarily want to have the live view always be showing the high resolution. But if you wanted to within Access Camera Station, this is where you would go to adjust it. Now, of course, for your recording settings, you can always have a recording in the high quality stream. So even though you're viewing the live view, if there's motion, it's going to record the high quality stream, which would be the five megapixels at whatever frames per second you set. So now if we click close and we go back to the live view, these three streams will now be at five megapixel resolution during the live view. You can see how much cleaner the image looks here. So again, you can click on the image and you can digitally zoom in, digitally zoom out, go back to the 180 view for live view. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. So now I have switched the image quality to four megapixel resolution just to show you the difference in the field of view. So I've already adjusted all the settings we did previously. Um, I've adjusted it so in the live view it's showing the full four megapixel resolution. So of course we can click on it and it goes to uh, the live view. Um, if I click on this view here, so when I put these side, when I put these together, you can see the difference side by side and you can make the best decision for your customer.